University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Tonight sees another second round match and two more teams vying to enter the labyrinthine quarterfinal stage of this competition. Four teams have already gone there ahead of them. St John's College Cambridge, Emmanuel College Cambridge, the University of Edinburgh and Trinity College Cambridge. And whilst tonight's winners will follow, we'll be sending the losers home. In their first round match, Reading University had a safe win against the University of Strathclyde with 175 points at the gong to their opponents 110. Questions on Scottish islands and horror films were to their taste, Latin mottos and the Reichstag rather less so. With an average age of a fresh-faced 38, let's meet the Reading team again. Hello, I'm Alex Skopik. I'm from Springville, Pennsylvania, and I'm studying my Master's in English Literature. Hello, I'm Margaret Elmsley. I live in Reading, and I'm studying for a PhD in Poor Law History. This is their captain. I'm Michael Hutchinson from Andover, now living in Caversham, and I'm studying for a PGCE. Hi, I am Sylvian Jesudas. I'm from Tanjavur, India, and I'm doing my PhD in Marketing. Now, the University of Dundee had a much closer first-round match, eventually beating the Royal Northern College of Music by 145 points to 135. They answered well on urban sprawl and 16th-century art, but found physics and the Women's Prize for Fiction rather more challenging. Representing an institution that took the series title 38 years ago and with an average age of 22, let's meet the Dundee team again. Hello, I'm Connor Phillip. I'm from Dunfermline, and I study anatomy. Hi, I'm Olivia Russell. I'm from Dundee, and I study pharmacology. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Barnaby Estonia. I'm originally from Winchester, and I'm studying for a PhD in microbiology. Hello, I'm Jacob Sparrell. I'm from Milton Keynes, and I'm studying medicine. <laughs> OK, let's not waste any time with the rules. Let's just get on with it. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for 10. What two initials link all of the following? Firstly, the 19th century German physicist who gives his name to the SI unit of frequency. Secondly, the main... Reading Hutchinson. HH. HH -H is correct. Well done. Yeah. Right, you get a set of bonuses on early Celtic and Anglo-Saxon manuscripts. Firstly, described as the most spectacular manuscript to survive from Anglo-Saxon England, which gospel book takes its name from the tidal island, also known as Holy Island? Lindisfarne Gospels. Correct. Containing some of the earliest writings in the Welsh language, the St Chad Gospels are housed at which cathedral in Staffordshire? Staffordshire. Um, Tamworth. Mm. What else is there in Staffordshire, Stoke? No. Um, Tamworth. No, it's Lichfield. Oh, of course. The earliest European book with an original intact binding, the St Cuthbert Gospel, was discovered in 1104 at which northern English cathedral? Mm. Durham. Durham is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What decade saw the completion of the Rialto Bridge in Venice, the invention of the thermometer by Galileo, the Edict of Nantes that gave French Huguenots evil... Reading Hutchinson. 1590s. 1590s is correct. <laughs> so you get a set of bonuses on words and expressions that have gained more widespread currency since March 2020. In each case, identify the word or phrase from references in the Oxford English Dictionary. Firstly, in the OED, the first citation of which word dates to 1641 and refers to the pious example of Charles I that, quote, will give you for the House of Commons and all the world cause to rest confident. Any ideas? Yeah, 2020. Any guesses? Uh, oh, um, is it, was it where they um, tried to dissolve Parliament? Um, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, furlough. No, it's unprecedented. What three-word phrase referring to a graph or chart does a 2010 citation describe with the words minimise transmission? Flatten the curve. Yeah. Flattening the curve. Yeah. 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 Flatten the curve. Flattening the curve is correct. 
What often hyphenated term was first defined in the OED as an instrument which at regular intervals interrupts an electric current? Mm. Something, something, so it's hyphenated. Circuit breaker? Circuit breaker. Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, circuit breaker. Correct. Ten points for this. From the Greek meaning of another form, what name is given to the property whereby a chemical element such as carbon, sulphur or oxygen can exist in two or more forms, ah. each possessing... Dundee Russell! Isotope. And I'm afraid, Dundee, you lose five points. Can exist in two or more forms, each possessing different physical properties, but the same state of matter. Reading Hutchinson. Allotropic. Allotropy is correct, yes. <laughs> OK, these bonuses are on people born in 1868. In each case, give a surname from the description. First, Henrietta, the US astronomer who discovered the period luminosity relationship and CFID variable stars. Leave it. Leave it is correct, yes. William Edward Burghardt, a US protest leader, who wrote the 1903 essay collection entitled The Souls of Black Folk? Uh, oh. W.B. Dubois. Dubois, yeah. Dubois. Dubois. Dubois is correct. Constance, who in 1918 became the first woman to be elected to the British Parliament. Okay. She was later Minister of Labour in the first Doyle Aaron, or Irish Assembly. Nominate Ansley. Markevich. Markevich is correct. Well done. <laughs> Right, we're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a map showing the location of one of the golf clubs that plays host to the annual Open Championship. Ten points if you can identify it. Reading Hutchinson. Sandwich. We'll accept Sandwich, which is where it is. The golf club is called the Royal St George's, but it is at Sandwich, so you've got it. The Royal St George hosted the 2021 edition of the Open Championship. It's home to one of the ten Lynx courses that are currently in the Open's rotor. For your bonuses, I want you to identify three more clubs on that rotor. Firstly, this club. I can accept either its official name or the name of the small town in which it's located and by which it's frequently known. Chapel Merseyside. Saint St Anne's, yeah. St Anne's? Yes, St Anne's. No, it's the Royal Liverpool or Hoylake Golf oh. Club. Oh. Secondly, where's this? Mm. Northern Ireland one. Um, is the Belfry the one in Warwickshire? It's the one that did it last year. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm not, oh. Golf isn't my thing, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm I just need to give one. Um, no pass. That's the Royal Port Rush. And finally... Lose, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, I think so. St Andrews? No, that's Carnoustie. <laughs> right, ten points for this. A transitional state of existence in Tibetan Buddhism appears along with the surname of which 19th century national leader in the title of a recent Booker Prize-winning novel, the subject of an elegy by Walt Whitman, first published in 1865. Reading Hutchinson. Lincoln in the Bardo. I'll accept that, yes, but I was looking for the name of the president, which is Lincoln, of course. Mm. As your bonuses are on medical tests, in each case, identify the test from the description. Firstly, a test in which the fluid surrounding a fetus is sampled and analysed. It's used for the prenatal diagnosis of chromosomal infections and for sex determination. Nominate Ounsley. Amniocentesis. Correct. Also called a spinal tap a procedure involving the direct withdrawal of cerebrospinal fluid by introducing a needle between vertebrae and the lower back. It can help to diagnose meningitis and cancer, and I need a two-word term here. Nominate Ansley. Lumbar puncture. Lumbar puncture is right. And finally, a standard step in diagnosing tumours, a procedure in which cells or tissues are removed and examined, usually under a microscope. Biopsy. 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 Biopsy is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What term in physical geography links the locations of cities such as Hamburg, Bordeaux and Montreal with a variety of spoken English sometimes known as London Regional <laughs> General Dundee British? Estonia. Estuary. Estuary is correct. Well done. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on declined peerages. Which British politician served as Prime Minister on more separate occasions than any other? 
and declined an earldom after his second ministry in 1885. 1885. Oh, I think that's Gladstone. Gladstone. Yeah. Okay. Gladstone. Gladstone is correct. Noted for his novel The Good Companions, which Yorkshire-born literary figure declined a life peerage in 1965? I don't know this one. No. No. We don't know. That was J.B. Priestley. After his resignation as Prime Minister in 1955, who declined the Queen's unprecedented offer to become Duke of London? It's Anthony Eden. Anthony Eden. Oh, wait. 55. Couldn't it be maybe... Churchill. Yeah, yeah I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even became Churchill. Prime Minister yeah. in 55. Churchill. It was Churchill, yes. Yeah. <laughs> right, ten points for this. In anatomy, what everyday two-word expression is an alternative name for myeloid tissue, a soft gelatinous substance in which red blood cells are produced? Dundee spiral. Bone marrow? Bone marrow is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on a physicist. The Nobel laureate Abdus Salam was born in 1916 in Jiang on the east bank of the Chenab River in which present-day country? Chennai. Is that in India? Oh, no. It was the Chennai River. Yeah. Um, I mean, if it's Salam, it's going to be something to do with Arabic. So, oh. do we just want to guess? Pakistan. What? Pakistan, maybe. It, yeah. That's not a bad guess. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Pakistan? Pakistan is correct, yes. Pakistan. Abdus Salam shared the 1979 Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on a theory explaining the unity of which two fundamental forces? The theory involved the postulation of W and Z bosons. Is it strong and weak nuclear force? That's what came to mind for me, yeah. 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 Are we happy with that? Yeah. The strong and weak nuclear forces? No, it's the weak nuclear force and electromagnetism. OK. The existence of W and Z bosons was verified in 1983 by researchers using particle accelerators at which European research laboratory? I guess so. Uh, yeah. Was that there at that time? I, I don't know, but do we know any others? No. Do we know? No. I think it's probably still. Yeah. Is it CERN? It is CERN, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Which country's non-violent independence struggle from the 1980s is the subject of the 2006 film The Singing Revolution? The country in question was the northern end of the 1989 protest known as the Baltic Chain. Reading Hutchinson. Estonia? Estonia is correct, yes. Here are your bonuses. They're on a language and a people. Which Indo-European language has varieties known as Kumanji and Sorani? Lacking a homeland, its speakers are estimated at more than 15 million. Kumanji? Mongolian could be. Is that Proto-European? Yeah, it is. It is. It's Indo-European. Mongolian? Possibly. Mongolian. No, it's Kurdish. <laughs> Which pact between the Allied powers and Ottoman Turkey provided for an autonomous Kurdistan after the First World War? It was later replaced by the Treaty of Lausanne, which failed to mention a Kurdish nation. Mm. I can't think. No. It's in there somewhere, but I can't really think about it. It's okay. Um, Treaty of Sevres. It is the Treaty of Sevres, yes. Okay. Cool. In addition to Iraq, which other country officially recognises an internal entity by the name of Kurdistan? Might be Syria. Syria? Syria? No, it's Iran. OK. Oh. Yeah. Right, we're going to take a music round now. If you're a music starter, you'll hear a piece of popular music. Ten points if you can identify the band playing. Like Dundee Spiral. The Dead Kennedys. No, it's not anyone like to. Reading Hutchinson. The Overtones. No, it wasn't. It was the Dam. So we'll get the music bonuses when somebody gets a starter question right. The location of a medieval university associated with the philosopher Miguel de Unamuno, which provincial capital in Castile Leon? Gives its name to a military victory of the Duke of Wellington during the Peninsular Wars. Dundee Spiral. Cadiz. No. Reading Hutchinson. Salamanca. Salamanca is correct, yes. 
So we'll go back now to the music bonuses. You'll recall that a moment ago we heard The Damned. Oh, dear. Because 2021 marked the 45th anniversary of the release of The Damned's New Rose by the recently formed independent label Stiff Records. They're often cited as the first punk single released in the UK, apparently. Okay. Your bonuses are three more tracks from Stiff Records' early years. In each case, I want you to identify the band or artist for five points. Firstly, who is this singer-songwriter? Oh, it's Elvis Costello, I think. Yeah, we'll go for it. Yeah. Elvis Costello. It is Elvis Costello, indeed. Oh, this, secondly, this singer-songwriter. Phil Lynott. No, it's Nick Lowe. And finally, the name of this band. My girl's mad at me. Oh, this is madness. Madness, yeah. Yeah. madness. It is madness, yes. Right, ten points for this. What polysyllabic term describes a dust particle from space that is small and light enough to have survived its passage through Earth's atmosphere, drifting down to ground instead of being vaporized? Reading Hutchinson. Stardust. No. Anyone like to have another go? Dundee uh, Phillip. Green elves. <laughs> It's a micrometeorite. Close. Right. Ten points at stake for this starter question. Played mostly indoors, what team sport was invented by the Canadian-born James Naismith in 1891? Reading Hutchinson. Basketball. Basketball is correct. <laughs> Three questions on the linguist David Crystal for your bonuses. In 2005, Crystal edited an anthology of entries from a groundbreaking reference work of 1755 by which author? It must be um, Johnson's Dictionary, is it? Or... Yeah, it could be. Yeah. 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 When, does Sam, when was Samuel Johnson born? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember now. We'll go for him there, yeah? Yeah. Johnson. It was Dr Samuel Johnson. Stuff. Crystal's 2006 work, The Fight for English, has the subtitle How Language Pundits Ate, Shot and Left. This refers to a book by Lynn Truss on what general field of written English? People saying different stuff. Each shoots and leaves. And it's back I'm just going to nominate you. Yeah, yeah. Um, nominate Ansley. Uh, grammar and punctuation. It's each shoots and leaves. No, we have to go with the first answer that you gave, and that was grammar and punctuation, and it was just punctuation I was looking for. Thirdly, David Crystal's work, Begat, concerns the influence on the English language of which specific publication of 1611? King James Bible. King James Bible. It is the King James Bible, yes. <laughs> Right, ten points for this. Taking its name from the distinctive blue line in its spectrum, which element is used in manufacturing germanium transistors and appears in the periodic table between gallium and thallium? Reading Hutchinson. Uh -oh. um... Indium. Indium is correct, yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on schools of thought. From the 1920s onward, the so-called school of philosophers that included Herbert Marcuse and Walter Benjamin was centred on the Institute for Social Research in which German city? Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Frankfurt is correct. Brilliant. Which city gave its name to a group of Dutch artists active in the later 19th century, specialising in outdoor and beach scenes? Its members include Anton Mauve and Johannes Bosboom. Hmm. I was thinking Utrecht, but... Utrecht. I'm not sure. Try, Go for it, try, 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 try Yeah, Utrecht. No, it's The Hague. <sighs> OK. And finally, Kenneth Koch and James Schuyler were among those in the 1950s school of artists and poets named after which North American city? Chicago, wasn't there a Chicago Chicago school? is there. Yeah, there was a Chicago school. Uh, what was the second artist? I, I didn't quite hear it. Shiloh. Yeah. That was the first one. Anyone got the second one? 
I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Okay, um, Chicago. No, it's New York. Yeah. Ten one. points for this. What name links the title of the second novel by Susanna Clarke, published in 2020? Reading Hutchinson. Piranesi. Piranesi is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on astronomical catalogues. In 1786, which astronomer royal with his sister published the catalogue of 1,000 new nebulae and clusters of stars? Should be happy with Herschel, yeah? Herschel. Herschel. William Herschel is right. 3C273, the 273rd member of the third Cambridge catalogue of radio sources, is among the closest to Earth of what class of highly luminous objects? Pulsars? What? Yeah, we'll go with that. Pulsars. That's quasars. Born in 1730, which French astronomer compiled a catalogue of objects that might be mistaken for comets, including what are now known to be galaxies, star clusters and various nebulae? Yeah. Messier. Messier is correct. Well done. <laughs> Time to take a picture round. For your picture starter, you'll see a still from a film adaptation of a novel of 1951. Ten points if you can give me the film's title. Dundee Stonia. The Day of the Triffids. The Day of the Triffids is correct. Well done. <laughs> Following on from the Day of the Triffids, your picture bonuses are three more examples of killer plants in film. Firstly... Ooh. I don't know this one at all. Don't Do we have any guesses? Killer plants. No, uh, the only one I know is Little Shovel Fire, isn't it? It's not that. Okay. <laughs> Anyone? Plant okay. Apocalypse. No, we don't know. It was the invasion of the body snatchers. <laughs> Secondly... This looks, looks more movie. modern. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know this one. No. No, we don't know this one. That's Little Joe. And finally... Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> is it? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Little Shop of Horrors. Little Shop of Horrors is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. In a triangle, the line that passes through the orthocenter, centroid and circumcenter, is named after which mathematician born in Basel in 1707? Reading Hutchinson. Euler. Euler is correct. Well done. <laughs> Your bonuses are on literature and royal succession. In each case, I will name a novel published in a year in which one British monarch died and another acceded to the throne. I need the names of both monarchs. Firstly... The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. Okay, 1952. Right, so that's uh, George, George the VI and, and Elizabeth II. Yeah. 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 Mm. George VI and Elizabeth II. Yeah, it would yeah. be for Hemingway, yeah, that late. Yeah, uh, it's not 1930s then. The, the... 1936, otherwise. Yeah, that's an abdication, it's not passed away then. Old Man and the Sea. When did he win his Nobel? Uh, in the 50s, wasn't it? Around? Come on, let's have it, please. Yeah, um, George VI and Elizabeth II. Correct. Sorry. Secondly, Howard's End by E.M. Forster. So you've got 1910. So that was after the Second World War. So that would be George the uh, George V and Edward the and Edward the Eighth. Yeah. Yeah. But then there was two crossovers in 1936. No, no, no. No, no. Yeah, okay. No, George V, Edward the Eighth. George V, Edward VIII. No, it's Edward VII and George V. Mm. Oh, so it's before. And that. finally, the Pickwick Papers by Charles Dickens. Oh, well, that must be William the Fourth and Victoria. William the Fourth and Victoria. Yeah. William the Fourth and Queen Victoria. That's correct. <laughs> right, ten points at stake for this. The difference in the acceleration of gravity between Earth's equator and poles is equal to approximately five, as measured in what derived SI unit? Ah, uh, Dandy spiral. Meters per second squared. No. <laughs> Reading Hutchinson. Angstrom. No, it's centimetres per second squared. Oh. Ten points for this. Margaret and Shipyard are English names of river islands in which European capital? The latter island is the location of the Sigit rock festival that has been likened to the Burning Man. Reading Hutchinson. Dublin. No. Anyone like to buzz? Not Estonia. Dublin? Prague. No, it's Budapest. Ten points for this. First excavated in the 1930s, which deep cleft in the Serengeti plains of northern Tanzania yielded the bones of gigantic extinct Reading mammals? Reading Hunsley. The Old Divide Gorge. That is correct, yes. 
Here are your bonuses. They're on Liverpool's around the world. Firstly, Chipping Norton and Hoxton Park are areas of the city of Liverpool situated about 30 kilometres from which major Commonwealth city? Hmm? It'll be um, in New Zealand or Wellington. Canada. Wellington? Wellington, say Wellington. Yeah. Wellington. No, it's Sydney. Boston River and River Plate are local rivals of Liverpool FC, a leading club in which South American capital? Maybe Argentina. Buenos Aires. Yeah. No. Argentina. No, it's Montevideo. The River Mersey meets the Atlantic Ocean at the settlement of Liverpool in which Canadian province? It meets the Atlantic. So it's this side. It's uh, Edward Island. New Brunswick. Oh, it's Nova Scotia. Ten points for this. Released in the mid-1960s, French Dressing and Billion Dollar Brain were early films by which British director? His better-known features include Women in Love, The Devils and Altered States. Reading Hutchinson. Ken Russell. Ken Russell is correct. You get a set of bonuses this time <laughs> on Parliament. The same, that's S-E-J-M, is the lower house of Parliament of which EU member state? Sounds like Spain to me. Or it'd be a, it's like a Latin-sounding thing. Mm. Or is it uh, Eastern Italy. European? We just get yeah, Spain. No, it's not. It's Poland. Oh. Okay, yeah. The Irish Oroctus is known metonymically by what two-word name after the former ducal palace where it meets in Dublin? Mm. What's that called? Or Stormont? That's no, Northern Ireland. Stormont's Northern Ireland. Um, I don't know. No? Okay, pass. It's Leinster House. Which nation's lower chamber is the Lok Sabha? It sits in three sessions, budget, monsoon and winter. Nominate Jesudos. India. India is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Taken from the original name of the French-born Karl XIV Johann, what since 1818 has been the ruling dynasty of the monarchs of Sweden? Dundee, Estonia. The Carolingian dynasty. No. Reading Elmsley. Is it Bernadotte? It is Bernadotte, yes. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses in the alternative history genre. Which novel by Philip K. Dick is set in a world in which Roosevelt was assassinated? <laughs> and that was gone. Dundee have 50, but the University of Reading have 245. <laughs> it's a great score, Reading. We look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals of the competition. Congratulations. Thank you. Dundee, unfortunately, will have to go home. But thank you very much for joining us and taking part. I hope you can join us next time for another second round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Dundee University. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. It's goodbye from Reading University. Bye. Yeah. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>